The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that the will of the people shall be the basis of the authority of government. This portrays is the theme for this year's International Day of Democracy. Global discourse continue to push the frontiers of democratic values and principles. This includes tackling economical, political inequalities, as well as being responsive to emerging issues such as migration and climate change. From the lens of Nigeria's democracy so far, the system of governance is still at a young stage. For more U.S. presidents, Abraham Lincoln defined democracy as a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. The scope of this system of governance delves deeper than these very words and remains a quest for many nations to strive towards. The 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development addresses democracy in SDG 16, recognizing the indivisible link between peaceful societies and effective, accountable and inclusive institutions. In the African context, it has been quite a deal with the Leader for Life Syndrome, with the likes of Teodoro Mbasogo of Equatorial Guinea, Paul Bia of Cameroon and former Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe, who resigned after 37 years in office amidst a military-led coup. Uh, the African Union is agreeing that we must uh, need to advance you know, the ideas and the aims and objectives of the democracy. But unfortunately, a lot of the leaders in the continent themselves are, you know, we seem by like their attitude to government, they would seem to be enemies of the same democracy. Nigeria returned to democratic rule in 1999 after 33 years of military rule. Today, the Buhari-led government is in office, but questions as to whether or not there'll be a time there will be a younger crop of leaders like Emmanuel Macron of France remain a matter of time. What is important is uh, what's, what's your integrity, what's your antecedents, what values do you bring, to, you know, are you strong enough you know, to drive the process? Uh, you had the, the mental capacity you know, to do the job. Nigeria's democracy is tested with the latest scandal surrounding the resignation of the Minister of Finance, Kemi Adiosha, over a certificate of exemption from the mandatory National Youth Service. I reckon in the, uh, probably the first time that somebody in office in this country, high office in this country, would uh, leave their position because of a uh, scandal. Uh, what's happening is good, it's good for our democracy. I think that our democracy is even much more challenged in so many respects than, than this. But at least it's, uh, we expect that this is, like I said, is an example. And we hope that going down the line that um, others also, if they're caught you know, with their hands in the till, or uh, caught in, you know, on, with, on the wrong end of, with, uh, of the stick, that uh, they, you know, they'll be able to follow suit and uh, follow her example. With the 2019 general elections fast approaching, the nation's democracy will again come under focus in its ability to conduct free, fair and credible elections. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, David Alabi.